Welcome to today's tip. Now, often people like to draw pie charts to show allocations of different asset classes over uh, or in a fund or a mutual fund. Now, this table I've highlighted here just shows the split between different asset classes in a, a typical mutual fund or a, a unit trust. Now, most people would go and insert a normal pie chart, which we're just going to do quickly. And what you'll see here is we've got a pie chart with lots of uh, with two big categories and lots of small categories. Now, I don't find this too user friendly um, as you can get lost in the small categories. So, I'm going to show you a chart today that you can use to um, show your main categories. So, in this case, we've got um, domestic equity and listed property. And then we're just going to group together the small categories and just make one big other category here. So we can see that um, our chart will, will predominantly um, have th almost uh, three different allocations in its power. And um, just going to delete this power chart over here and introduce to you a chart called the bar of power charts. Now we do the same th thing again and we select our table and we go back into insert par and we select bar of par chart over here so what we see here is now we've got a par chart and a bar chart and one of the sections of the par chart um, shows the different small categories now you select the actual par right click format data series to bring up the chart options and we're going to look at how we can put all the values under a certain threshold into our other category. And to do this, we look at this first section here, which says split the series by position. So the first thing you can do is, for example, you can take the last three values and put them onto the bar, bar, bar chart. We want to actually have a percentage threshold. So we're going to say put all the asset classes under 10% onto the bar chart and then we're going to change our second plot stars to about 50 percent and click close so what you see here is now we've got domestic equity listed property and then another category that shows all our other smaller asset uh, allocations almost the immaterial allocations now i think this is a little bit more visually appealing than a standard pie chart and once you've done this you can format it so it, uh, it looks professional so you can choose a color scheme so we'll just go through and s select um, a standard Excel color scheme you can change the text size so we're gonna go and change this to we'll use to Homer and we'll change this to size 6 text then we'll put the legend at the bottom so you go format legend bottom close and you can see progressively our chart starts to look a little bit better now um, you can carry on and format it uh, as you so desire but we've uh, now achieved what we were trying to achieve in the beginning and we now have got the big category listed uh, or domestic equity then listed property and then a section called other which includes all the different other smaller asset allocations. So it's a chart that I don't think too many people know about, um, but I found it quite useful, and um, I think uh, you'll have some fun using it. Well, there we go. That's it for today, and uh, yeah, enjoy using the chart. Cheers.